Hello, not here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. Today we are going to run the Phantasmagoria map. It's tier 4. And if I remember this correctly, I've played this together with friends. And the boss is pretty brutal. So we will see how this very brutal boss will stand up to the Frostbolt builds. So the enchantments are patches of desecrated ground so if you don't stand in the right place we'll be taking chaos damage over time for just standing in it monsters oh no uh, players have elemental equilibrium so that means when we hit a monster with an element it will become resistant to that element and vulnerable to the others thing is we only do cold damage so effectively after the first hit monsters will have increased a cold resistance 25 percent if i remember correctly they also have a 40% extra fire damage, which we don't care about, and 20% fist damage reduction, we don't care about either. But that elemental equilibrium and desecrated ground is going to make it interesting. So, let's get going. Yes. So, Fons is based on the belly of the beast. And the boss is built based on the Bone Queen which as a regular unique is already pretty tough as a map boss another level of uh, annoying or of toughness she resurrects a posse around herself hits from like the other side of the map you're very happy this is a uh, narrow and windy uh, section bit like those uh, those revenants but then as a boss with all kinds of special abilities it's uh, most definitely going to be a lot of fun but, uh, nice and challenging map it's the first time we're running a, a tier 4 uh, this character up until now it's only been uh, mostly tier 2 and 3 but I figured it was time to uh, step the level up a little bit so in between episodes I did run the cruel labyrinth and got an edict of frost on my gloves and I got reduced mana cost of skills if you've been hit recently. So this one uh, does 200 to 300 damage with 9 projectiles every 5 seconds when we kill something. Roughly that way. Now it's a nice verbal way of phrasing the things with cooldowns and stuff like that. Also, I'm standing in the chaos here and he doesn't want to come. He's been... Possessed by a ghost, that's very helpful. Oh, fusing. We're off to a decent start so far. But other than that, I haven't really changed my uh, my gear. I, I did no. Nope, I did the labyrinth twice to get those uh, enchants on. I, I ran a couple of maps. Basically got my currency uh, back up again a little bit. But haven't really found any good items. And Chaos Orbs have been surprisingly absent during those runs. That's kind of what I'm currently relying on for re-rolling some of the decent looking items. Probably should give trading another shot. So oh, this is Elemental Reflect, it hurts pretty much. <laughs> uh, hello? Okay. Oh, it hurt him more. That's, that's, no, for now I'm trying to push into tier 4 even though we did have some issues with the museum which is a tier 3 map but in that case I'm, I'm pinning the difficulties more on the specific boss rather than the fact that it was a tier 3 the thing is that every map tier you go up monsters do a lot more damage and they have more life so you need to use more of your own damage to actually take them down also holy moly there's a lot of chaos damage going around here Okay. 
But the... No, each tier is successively harder than the previous one. And damage does rise quite a bit. So, rising through the ranks too quickly might end up just getting you into a situation where it's really no fun to play the map. That's why I'm, I'm trying to be a bit cautious. I'm probably just going to do all the tier 3 and tier 4 maps. But I figured let's do a, a tier 4 now. Then. I'll mix in some of the, the tier 3s that we haven't done yet with the, the tier 4s that we of course still have to do. And slowly work our way onwards. And if I do get some, some gear upgrades some point that will have to happen right then we can push a little bit more aggressively until it feels like we're reaching a plateau again hello there so being rather dodgy does help against these Rakango since they have a lot of projectiles that go out and what is our current 35 evasion and 5 dodge and then some blocking of course on top of that also they killed our uh, golem buggers and i was not standing in uh, i am standing in chaos for the moment i wasn't quite sure mark of cannibalism okay Seems like there's a bit of a patch here that doesn't have the chaos damage going on. That is good. Quite a bit of monsters remaining. So, last time, I'm not quite sure how random the entire layout of the map is, or maybe if the, uh, the section where the boss spawns is fixed. But last time, she spawned in. Something like a, a, a circle at the end of a, of something like this. And you could keep kiting her, which was definitely needed because she has projectiles that reach quite far and that hurts a lot. Let's see, is that a fork in the road or no, just a dead end. This time we'll see how it goes. So far, so good. For some reason, I keep rolling the in the what's it called the equi elemental equilibrium on on maps. I, I I keep rolling it. So I'm by by now I'm actually used to most monsters being at least 50% resistant to chaos dam uh, to cold damage, but because we do so much piercing of resistances. In practice, it's not that big a deal. I mean, our single target by default, it penetrates 35 uh, resistance. This one has less. It only has the, the base amount, but of course we got Frostbite, we got Frostbomb, that's another 62% between them. Another 35, so that's almost 100%. And we get a little bit from the skill tree as well, which just applies uh, globally. But it does mean monsters are tougher to kill. There's a lot of ground effects going on here. Let's see. There's one little bit here that doesn't do chaos damage. I'm standing here to clear the room. So many enemies behind it, you hear it just like tick 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 tick. It's the, the fun bit of penetrating projectiles. They have the potential to hit a lot of things if the corridor is long enough. Well, actually that might be a big big difference in the, the fight between what I previously did. Because I was actually playing a, a Contagion Essence Rain character. My, uh, I think it was a level 80 or something. But it didn't have a piercing 
as a string. So every time a trash mob would get resurrected, it would catch the bolt intended for the boss. And then the fight lasts quite a bit. In this case we have piercing projectiles and that might be our secret weapon for this fight. On top of that we also have a minions, uh, an army of minions. And an energy shield that we can just regenerate quite a bit. Speaking of minions, Golem, please get back to your work. Let's see, replenishing shrine, oh that is nice. It's uh, life and mana, how high is it on the life right now? 147, that's uh, countering the, the chaos degen a bit, that's good. Uh, we're snaking our way through, there's not really any branches, so it might be that we will really just encounter the boss at the end and we'll have that loop there to do the fight in. Which would make things interesting. Still more than 50 mobs remaining. In that case, we, we might even be able to use that as a, a counter. The moment this one drops below 50, we are getting pretty darn close. Until then, probably no worry. There is a stigeon in the back somewhere. Let's just make sure it's not the queen. Yeah, so far so good. Let's uh, do the strong box. What are you hiding? Contains an additional unique item. I approve. I really approve. Also, let's not get hit by that eye thing. By that eyesore. Shark tooth arrow a quiver. So that is a Harry's Bite. Plus four life gains for each enemy hit by your attacks. Strength attacks, int, that's not bad. 10% decreased radius for area skills, that's pretty decent. Ah, funny little quiver. The increasing the radius is pretty difficult, so that that's, feels like it's the most valuable mod on there. Something like uh, an SNC Contagion build, what I was speaking of earlier. Some of them use bows, because there are interesting bows that, that work off projectiles, and Essence Drain is a projectile. Here is Bite would be a very nice uh, component for that as well. Because Contagion really likes bigger AoE. Okay, hello there, Vegan. Ah, we're just gonna go mano a mano with him. Basically, no contest. He's frozen like a statue. So, thank you for the interesting fight. Let's let's be polite to polite be polite to the guy. Let's curse the boss in the back there. We're standing in a nice nice quiet spot here. Boom. Mosaic kite shield. This is uh, this is my lucky day. It's raining uniques. To my uh, no, my warm up playtime had a couple of uniques as well. Nothing truly special, but no, oh, finding uniques is always good. Rise of the Phoenix. Eight percent to all elemental resists. Bunch of armor and energy shield. Six life per second. Plus eight to maximum fire resistance. That is pretty cool. 20 to fire resists, increase, increased fire res rest while on low life, increased movement speed while on low life, cannot be ignited while on low life. So, low life, um, what was that skill again? Where you set yourself on fire basically in order to, to deal a bunch of damage. Like righteous fire, yes. Like a righteous fire low lifer. You get all the benefits from this.
Okay, we're standing in the poison here. That's not a wise idea. Let's take a sip. Still over 50. I'm feeling like we are getting closer and closer to the final boss fight. Or maybe that that's just my imagination projecting from seeing more of these, these larger cavernous rooms. Which I immediately tag as interesting rooms for to have a fight in because you can actually do some maneuvering. While the tunnels don't have that. Hello, Ice. I see you. Here is sister. And there I can go. He frozen underground, I think. Uh, that's just a regular sti um, stage in Revenant. Ooh, superior second map. Oh, that's tier 2. So. And someone ate my golem again. Okay, so we have a split here. And we are down below 50 mobs. This is where the boss will be. So actually... Because now I'm on softcore anyway and I def will allow me to continue. I'm gonna put a portal here. Because otherwise it's gonna be a very long way to walk back. Not saying I intend to die. But I'm just not ruling out the possibility of death and I'm accounting for it in a responsible fashion. Two stone ring. Yeah, that's there. All those corrupted mobs, those are her pets. She summons them. Also here I have my golem. And I have a bunch of ice. Can we see her yet? There's a couple of blues mixed in with with her. Okay. Would be nice to actually See her? Okay. Whoa. Me and my big mouth. Stop. Stop doing that. Okay. So this final bit always seems to be uh, this way. Or at least sample sizes too. But last time we did have it as well. So you got... Let's try. Yeah, see, she keeps summoning those corrupted beasts and they have a ton of life. So if you have non-piercing projectiles... Or something else that's not really good at dealing with, with groups of resummoned tough mobs. This is going to be a tough fight. In my case, I'm just trying to be a bit cautious here. Since I know she, she can hurt quite a bit. And I don't need to get in her face. Because well, I don't need to see her to kill her. That, that's, as I said, it's my, uh, that's my secret weapon. I think I was going for a little bit too much showmanship here. Rather than just going for the kill. Well, that, that, that's always the, the, the interesting balance that you, that, you, that you have to run here. Because if I'm now going for builds that clear maps in like two minute, minutes and kill bosses three screens away then it's no fun to watch either. So this is this is all oh it's all entertainment. That means now it's supposed to be an interesting fight. Uh, I think we, we might get that because as I was saying, she she's tough. Knowing full well what I was getting into, she she's tough. So we just need to prevent ourselves from getting surrounded. That that will help. There she is, Thraxia. Okay, getting the heck out of there. Energy shield was getting low. And just clear out the, the mobs. Okay. 
Now the gloves are off. Now I'm actually really wanna see her die. But no, oh, compared to even just tier three, this is this is a tough fight. We do have our army of skeletons that I forgot to summon, which is gonna be rather helpful. Okay, so, oh, her secret weapon of, of resummoning all the mobs. It does help her quite a bit. She does lightning damage. So there is that that I spawn in the back. I would like to. Okay, never mind. So I did summon my army of the damned, and we're just gonna kill her from. Uh, I was gonna say safe distance, and then I noticed, and then I noticed she just teleported in next to me. But he was doing that before. So that was Traxia. See stuff. She she hurts. She, no, that that's the the queen also. She hurts like a ton. Having the, these eyes as backup here is also definitely in her favor. And there's four mobs that might be just some 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 resummons, or it's just some things that got spawned behind us. But there you have it, Phantasmagoria. It's a it's a tough map. If you're running it on hardcore, I would uh, advise you to be very very careful and don't try don't try to be fancy as I was trying to show you the fight, because you will get killed. If it, I mean on hardcore, I wouldn't have done it this way. Let let's put it that way. I would have been a lot more more careful. But yeah, we're slowly getting into the into the area where now well, Fantasporia is the, the highest level map I ran with my earthquake juggernaut. So it's there's gonna be a lot of new things from here on out. So that is gonna get interesting. But for now, I'm gonna thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time when we run another map. Bye bye.